What's going on, doozers? And welcome to another episode on Shadowtopia. We are currently over in the shopping district, though you probably can't tell it, and we are working on something special. First off, 1,000 subscribers. Guys, you're awesome. You're amazing. Thank you so much. I'm honored, humbled. And I hope you were watching Sunday, because during our live stream, Dooza did a face reveal. And I'm pretty ugly. I know that. It's okay, because I don't care. <laughs> so, in any case, kind of as like, a, hey, holy cow, we did a thousand subscribers. Plus, um, I'm working on a project for Mom Mom. Now, she sent me a challenge, and she's like, listen, I would love you to build one of these uh, bee uh, monster bees that Il Mango made. Now, I'm not going to lie, I 100% am using his tutorial. It's actually on the other screen as we speak. Um, but that's because I have never really been good with flying machines, and um, I'm not afraid to admit that. I, I don't... Um, flying machines have always been a little bit of a, uh, a thorn in my side. I've never quite been able to just look at a flying machine and go, oh, that's how that works. So what I'm doing is I am painstakingly uh, recreating this entire thing from scratch, following his tutorial and I will uh, I will make sure to link that in the description below and if I don't um, please please like beat me up because I know I'm bad at forgetting to do that <laughs> I know I know I am so right now we're working on the actual body of this thing and I mean it's it's going pretty smooth I I, I would have expected it to be a little bit harder than this um but you know what? It's it's not. It's it's a lot of repetition. That's that's what it is right now. It's a lot of repetition. Um, also, the fact that we are working way 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 up into the oops that doesn't go, uh, way up in the the sky right now is uh, kind of scaring the heck out of me because I mean we have an elytra and everything, but it's still the concept that something could go wrong and. I mean, let's face it, it's, it's Murphy's Law. If something can go wrong, um, it will. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to keep working on this, and I will bring you back as soon as we have a little bit more progress. But right now, what we have done is we have the actual start of the body. So as you can see, it's a lot of honey blocks, a lot of sticky bo uh, slime blocks. We got observers and pistons everywhere. Guys, guys, do your, do yourselves a favor. Um, go to Il Mango's page. I'll link it in the description. Check out his tutorial. It's absolutely fantastic. He does a great job explaining it. Um, so go, 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 go do that. Stop. I'm not going to show you how to build it because I don't understand it and I don't want to try to explain it if I don't. So go, go check out Il Mango. Um, I'll be right back as soon as I get some more progress done. Okay, guys. Well, I'd love to say it's, uh, you know, spacious in here, but... Uh, it, it, it's cramped quarters. I mean, it's, it's a redstoner's dream, but it, it's, it's a movement nightmare. So everything is done. The outside's done. Inside's done. We'll be going outside in a second, but right here, here's where we ran into a little bit of a conundrum because to start this, I'm going to have to hit this block here with a fire charge and then quickly hop over to this minecart so I can fly in it. Um, that's the only real way that I can, I'll be able to do this short of actually just being on the outside and smacking it with a, uh, smacking it with a piece of obsidian. So let me try to get out of this. Oh, there we go. And we'll take you on a tour of this behemoth. So there we go. Now, again, this is an Omango design. Uh, I will link the tutorial in the description, but... I'm pretty sure my mom's going to go fangirl crazy over this. So once she gets on, we'll go ahead and launch this thing quick and uh, we'll, we'll see what she says. So we'll bring you right back. I got to tell you what, I, I got I to gotta say it. I got to, I love the eyes. <laughs> I love them. <laughs> They're awesome. So I have this set so that once we take off with it, it should fly straight across here. And my goal is to get it to stop right about here over this shop. 
So I just got to make sure it's in line and then we're going to put a piece of obsidian there. That way we know it's going to stop. So let's see here. This is at 139. And 514. Okay, so we need to get up here and actually make a stop block for this. So let me get that done and we'll be right back. Yeah, it's yeah, right yeah, up it's yeah. right above uh the back of the post office. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, I'm still not seeing it yet. It's coming. It's yeah, but I don't understand. I should be able to see it. If I you guys can see, see it, you, I gotta change. So... Okay. I, I can't see it yet. I'll render this at the 16 chunk. Like, I can just start to see the other side of the room. Uh, so what you're saying I should, is I need to readjust my render distance. Well, no, I wouldn't worry about it right now. Doodle. Doodle. It's coming. Doodle, I'd like a TP to doodle. I can't help you. <laughs> I'm inside You're stuck the redstone. Now. Don't touch anything. <laughs> I'm trying not to. Just stay there, accept your fate. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, look, 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 you can see the antennas. Well, where is he? Alright guys, so there it was. I hope you guys got a chance to watch that. Uh, I'm standing on top of the B with, well, just about everybody. We got a couple of people who can't make it. So I got Doge and Doodle, White Top, I am one, Mom Mom, who gave me the challenge to build this thing. And a huge shout out to Mango for the tutorial. Thank you so much for this. Um, go check out Mango's page. If, you, if somehow you are not already subscribed to Mango, pause this video, subscribe to that Redstone Master. But that being said, uh, we're going to get back to work on some other things. We've been doing some stuff in the end, but before we do that, let's, let's see where this bee actually ended up. So we flew all the way over from Gemco, and we ended up right here above the beehive, and she can keep going. She can take off again, so we'll, uh, we may eventually just say forget it all and start it up and let her just keep going until she stops i got two right i got two chairs here to let people ride it so let me uh let me get over to the base grab some stuff and then uh we'll get to work on the rest of our projects so yeah i'm doing the wonderful black screen intro outro talk to you while we're looking at nothing so i recorded about four and a half hours worth of video and OBS didn't record any of the actual video just the audio so we did some work on the end we're gonna catch up real quick so uh, yeah let's get to that all right guys so sorry about that black screen of death that you guys just saw and I'll explain that so while I was working on this project I recorded a whole bunch of video about two hours worth of and normally what I do is I record two hours and then I edit it down in about 15 minutes. Um, so we're going to do the really abbreviated version. <laughs> so
So this is what I ended up working on over at the end. So we start right here with the actual end spawn area, which is the mushroom area. We have now reconfigured that into the, uh, we got rid of the staircase going up and we replaced it with this hallway. And as you can see, again, we're, st we're sticking with that theme, the black concrete, the cyan terracotta, we got the, poly the uh, smooth stone floors, and then I also incorporated iron blocks, which is a little bit of an expensive block, but it does work really well in here. So the first room we have is the biogenetics research lab. And in here we have this unknown species, Spatium Lalago, stardate 47634.44. And yes, for all of you Star Trek nerds out there like me, that is an accurate star date for the day I recorded this. So there you go. Um, in any case, this Spatium Laligago uh, actually means in Latin uh, space squid. So there's that. Um, over here we have Doodle Moose. She's staring at this you know weird sea pickle, trying to figure out why it, how it reacts in space. We have Aragar over here. He's looking confused as all get out because my mom's sitting here with bee heads in her hand and he's at the computer trying to figure out what research she's working on. Then as we come down here, we have the Biolab Research and Development. Now this was one of my favorite rooms to work on so far because while it doesn't look like a lot, there's 11 armor stands in this room alone. So the first two are right here. We have Doge, she's been cut in half by Mr. Wicked. Mr. Wicked's holding the uh, the stone cutter, and it's that blade spinning around. A monster beast is here. He's running away because he's dead scared of this. And then we have Puggy, who's apparently losing his lunch. So we come up the hallway now, and now we are in the flora and fauna research area. And this is where uh, we've planted a bunch of flowers, and we're studying how they how they grow in space and how they behave. And what we did to build this. Let me see if I can find a place to to it. So back in here, let me see, I should be able to break. Nope. Not, and I would normally just break the glass, but I, I we fought a raid earlier and Aragar has my silk touch pick. Silk touch pick. There we go. So what we did is we have the dirt blocks and then we have sunken down two blocks are our lights underwater so that the endermen don't spawn here. And then we made this deep enough that we could put two tall flowers in it. Speaking of there, are, there he is. Uh, hey, hey, stop a minute, Eric. Are you got my pick still? Oh, it! I put it in gem, one of uh, the Gemco box by your potion builder. Okay. Yeah, that's by the potion. Sorry. So, the rest of this tunnel here actually goes all the way to the end, and as you can see, it's actually a flyable tunnel. But this goes all the way up, up here, and into the Wither Killing Chamber. So, it's a straight shot. It's a, it's a really easy way to get to and from where we got to go and somehow I missed some cyan terracotta there off to bring a piece down and then this continues all the way down and into the hangar so we're gonna hop down in here real quick and you can see now we are back in the hangar area so like I said it's a really really quick and easy easy thing that we've built here i mean it took i want to say about four and a half five hours to build all this out uh, and i had a lot of help from my mom and white top doing it but it is a really nice way to get from spawn now like when you're coming in from the end you, you just spawn in here you don't really have to worry about the enderman you can kind of get uh Get these cool little views as you're going and we have a ton of room that we can work with still um this one i can't do anything with because that goes right out in void but this side and this side i can actually build more of those tunnels on and i think that's what we're going to do i think we're going to create like this giant underground 
uh, space bunker here where we have the different people doing different types of research and playing around. We're going to do a lot of work with the armor stands. I'm try, going to try to make sure that we have everybody in the server uh, represented there as, as well as a couple other heads that I've collected. So now that that part's done, uh, let's go ahead and take a quick fly around, see how we're looking. Uh, and that was totally not the fly around I was intending to take. So, uh, well, this is my base. <laughs> so let me get over to Gemco since that's where my pick is. Um, we'll get over to Gemco and then um, figure out what we're doing from there. All right, guys. So, um, absolutely incredible, guys. Uh, a thousand. Oh, yeah, surprise. This is me. <laughs> so, um, we hit over the weekend a thousand plus subscribers, and it's awesome. And it's amazing what you guys have done as a community. Thank you so much. And like I said, I wanted to make sure you had an opportunity to actually get the face reveal. I know I did it in the live stream at the beginning of the day. Uh, that was Sunday. Now today it's Tuesday. Um, and I'm sorry if my eyes keep going down into the, this corner somewhere. Um, it's because my camera is on top of my monitor and I keep looking at the monitor and it's it's no good. Also, if you've noticed, I talk a lot with my hands. Um, that's normally not a good thing. So with the camera, at least now when I'm doing my live streams, you'll actually get a chance to see what I'm saying with my digits. Um, in any case, guys, I want to thank you. I want to thank you for your support. I want to thank you for being the awesome community that you are. And we're going to keep doing live streams. We're going to keep doing videos. We're going to do live streams. We're going to be on YouTube. We're going to be on Twitch. Um, we're going to do everything I can to keep giving you quality entertainment. And uh, I, again, I just from the bottom of my heart, I thank you. My family thanks you. Uh, you guys are absolutely amazing. Um, and I, I love having you in the community. I love being part of your community more than anything. So uh, normally I'm doing this with my avatar, but guys, I'm Diamond Doozer and I'm out.